Alicia Malone. Welcome to Fandango Indie Movie Guide. Happy Valentine's Week. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but I want to keep the love going this week because there are three indie films which each feature unique love stories all about forbidden love. And I haven't seen these kinds of love being shown on screen, not in this way before. Hopefully that intrigued you because the first film that I want to talk about is called Love Song. It's out in theaters this weekend, but I actually saw it at Sundance in 2016. It's taken a long time to be released, but it was one of my favorite films back at that festival. It tells a story of a friendship between two women played by Riley Keough and Jenna Malone. They've had a long time friendship, but when they reconnect, it turns into something more. This is a forbidden love story, not just because they are lifelong friends and what happens when you cross that boundary, but also because Riley's character is married with a kid. I just feel like I'm going crazy. It's okay to feel a little crazy, but it's not fair to you to have to do it all by yourself. Let's go have some fun. All right. Where do you want to go? It's directed by So Young Kim, and it's such a beautiful look at this type of love. You feel the history between them, and unlike other movies which explore female female friendships which turn into something more, it's very much not for titillation. Their love is believable, and it's all part of the story. Believe him, Mindy. <laughs> I really enjoyed this one. I can't wait to see it again. It's just a beautiful, elegant film. So go and see Love Song out in theaters this weekend. My second sort of forbidden love features a character that I've never seen done on screen before until now. Moonlight, of course, is the film that I've been going on about for a long time because I love this movie. I saw it last year, I've seen it multiple times since, and of course we've been talking a lot about Moonlight when it comes to Oscars. The film is out on video on demand this week, so if you didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, now is your opportunity. So where you gonna stay tonight, man? I like the way this film explores masculinity, you know, what does it mean to be a man? And it's amazing to think that homosexuality wasn't even explored in American cinema till the 1970s. This movie breaks all those boxes and just like Love Song, it's a gorgeous film, very subtle and touching and affecting and I'm trying to think of more adjectives to describe it, but I really, really love this movie. I'm going to watch it again and again and again. Now it's available on video on demand. It's not what I expected. What did you expect? My third unique forbidden love story to tell you about is called Tanner and it's out on video on demand. Now this is Australia's very own best foreign film nominee at this year's Oscars, although it's all set in Vanuatu. It's a very Romeo and Juliet type tale of forbidden love. This man and this woman who are in this tribe, they love each other, but they're not allowed to get married to each other because the custom is for arranged marriages over love marriages. <laughs> <laughs> The film is so beautifully shot and the actors are magnetic. It surprised me when I looked up the story behind the making of Tanner. So the crew involved with Tanner, just two people, two Aussies, a cameraman and a sound guy. They went into this tribe who took them in for seven months while they improvised scenes and they made this movie. It's just amazing to think about because before these two guys came into the tribe, they'd never seen a movie. They'd never seen a movie camera. They've never acted or knew what acting was. And all that translates to something very authentic on screen. You cannot tell that it was done for such a low budget with non-professional actors. Wow. And 
and you have to go online to watch the behind the scenes making of Tanner because they ended up showing the completed movie to this tribe and something really great about the idea of the first ever movie they have seen showing their stories about their people. That's powerful. <laughs> There you have it, three movies about powerful love stories that are unique and forbidden. You've got Love Song in theaters, Moonlight on Video On Demand, and Tana on Video On Demand. As always, make sure you tweet me at Alicia Malone or write in the comments below about what you've been watching lately. I love to hear from you guys and I'll see you soon.